from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference, brought to you by Girls in Tech. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at downtown San Francisco, Girls in Tech Catalyst. Great event, we've been coming for a couple years, about 700 professionals, mainly women, a few men, and I think they brought in a busload of kids to get inspired. Talking about their stories, and really it's a series, it's a one-track conference, two days, about 20-minute talks, and, and really good stuff, really great content. Check it out online if you didn't register this year. Make sure you come next year. We're excited to have our next guest, Cube alum, uh, really from a, one of the hottest companies in tech right now. She's Wendy Pfeiffer, the CIO of Nutanix. Wendy, great to see you again. Hey, nice to see you, Jeff. Absolutely, yeah. so we see you at Nutanix Next all the time, but we haven't seen you at Girls yeah. in Tech, so how long have you been involved in Girls in Tech? So I've been involved since the very first meetup uh, more than 10 years ago. Uh, Girls in Tech was very inspiring to me, and I was here at the Catalyst Conference last year, um, and I'm a member of the board of Girls in Tech as well, so I'm able to give back and provide some leadership at that level. So we just had Adriana on, and she was going yeah. through some of the numbers. I mean, the growth of this organization, second to Nutanix, is off the chart. I mean, yeah. really amazing. It really is amazing. You know, in some ways, our time has come. Uh, Adriana's had this big vision for a really long time, really focused on educating women, um, helping them to understand the potential of careers in tech and technology knowledge. And that's a global message and a message that resonates at every age level and in lots of different sectors of society. So it's just a privilege to be able to uh, partner with her and others on the board to enable the vision. And Nutanix as well, you know, is, is donating, is present here at these conferences and partnering at Catalyst and Amplify and, and other parts of the organization. Right, because it's, it's not only the right thing to do, it's also good business, which has been proven time and time again. Absolutely, and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of taken on this um, passion, mission, uh, just excitement thing, but it is practical as well. Um, at, you know, all the studies, I'm sure so many folks have talked with you about this. There's so many studies, there's so much research that says um, diversity brings better decision making, better product development, right. and um, better satisfaction in our work environments as right. well. The other thing that struck me talking to Adriana, and I guess I just didn't know kind of the, the breadth of types of activities that Girls in Tech's put on. So we've we've been to Catalyst before, we've been to um the, the Amplify, pitch night, Amplify, yeah. but I didn't know she's running, you know, there's all kinds of, of there, different types of things. Absolutely, I, I think the underlying passion is for education. If you think about particularly people in underserved communities, there is a real opportunity, you know, coding and learning to code, learning to interact with computers. That's a language that transcends geographic boundaries, ethnic boundaries, age and religious boundaries. And it's something that, you know, ever since my days, at Yahoo, I really felt like technology could bring the world together. And today in particular, there is so much disparity between women and men and their access to technology education and technology careers. Right. That this is um, you know, more than just creating a level playing field. I think we're making our own playing field. We're not going to their playing field anymore. We're creating our own at locations like this. Right, and clearly a bunch of founders are here today yeah. and started their own companies. Yeah. But the other thing, I think is interesting is, is culture keeps coming up time and time again in, in yeah. all these conversations. And Adriana's built a culture starting always from the top down with the board. It's a phenomenal board of yes. professional women that she's pulled together for this organization. Yeah, there are a couple of males on the board too. I want to make sure I point that out yeah. um, because we're a diverse board as well. Um, but she has, she has brought together people who are leaders in the technology space, but also folks who are passionate about building a healthy nonprofit organization, one that's global, one that can scale. And so we also look at the fundamentals uh, and the business fundamentals as well. So we are um, expanding from 60 to uh, 100 countries and from 100,000 members to 200,000 members. I mean, who would think, right? Right, right, it, right. It's, it's extraordinary. Even then though, those 200,000 women are a drop in the bucket compared to the 50% of the global population right. who are female. Right, and then you work at Nutanix, super hot. Yeah. I, I don't want to say startup anymore, you guys have <laughs> right, IPO'd. Right. But, you know, but you're living it in terms of trying to get enough good qualified talent yeah. 
just to feed the one engine that is Nutanix. So it's a real yeah. demand in the marketplace. Definitely that's the case. Um, you know, we, we sort of struggle uh, with the thought, you know, are there just not enough women candidates in these fields? But what we, we learn at conferences like this is that there are enough women candidates, but we don't necessarily recognize those women. And we don't know where to find them. And they may not find the sort of work that we represent to be attractive. And so we're sort of trying to change how we speak and think. Um, culture is a good word, but it's, it's a revolution. It's a cultural revolution uh, in terms of identifying talent where it sits. We spoke a lot in the last day and a half around blended careers, the bringing together of art and technology or communication and technology. And the fact is that technology just underscores everything we do right, nowadays. Right. Um, and so, you know, having people who can blend those things are, is, is a real advantage. And women have this ability to take a multifaceted approach to the work that we do and the way that we live our lives. We multitask as a sport. Right, right. It's interesting too, as, as the machines get better and as AI mm -hmm. gets better, machine learning, uh, the softer skills applied with the context become oh. so much more important than necessarily just the super hardcore coding skills. You know, I have a story around that. So uh, we've just deployed, uh, my IT department has deployed a machine learning tool at Nutanix to replace a lot of the interactions that happen on our help desk. And we found we just couldn't scale as the company was scaling. So we've been training an AI from a company called MoveWorks. And you know, we've been training it uniquely with our voice. And, uh, and I think a little bit with my voice. And I just had one of our employees write back to me and say, not only is you know this thing, we call it XBOT, not only is XBOT solving my problems, but he said, um, she is pretty sassy too. <laughs> and I'm like, yay, he, he knows it's a she, right, right. right? And she's sassy too. So yeah, that unique voice right. is infusing even the machine learning training that we're doing. Right. And I think that makes for a more delightful experience right. for all of us. It's funny, the, the voice thing, because you know Google had their very famous, the, the restaurant reservation call-in demo yes. at, at, uh, at I.O. They got capped on a little bit right. for, you know, was it real or not? But what made it so, so dramatic mm -hmm. was the human-like elements in the conversation of the machine. Absolutely. With ums and ahs and, and uhs and pauses, right. which, which we laugh about because when we shoot cube interviews, everybody wants to cut those parts out. I'm right. like, no, that's what makes people people. Right, exactly. I agree with you. And at the same time, you know, there are, um, you know, things that, that are uniquely um, female stereotypes. We're more wordy. We have more things to say. Right. You know, we're uh, we're more multidimensional. We can hold two thoughts at the same time. And so that's part of the richness of communication and our interaction too. But to the extent to which we can embed that in our technology, technologies and our interactions, those are the extent to which they'll be more delightful. Right. It's no um, coincidence that Siri and Cortana and all of those um, AIs sort of have this female persona. Right. And I don't know if you know this, the, you know, Cortana, who's the, the Microsoft um, you know, AI, um, you know, she's voiced by the same character that's Cortana in one of their video games. And oh, she's really? sort of this like, you know, badass fighter gal too. So check it out. Well, we know um, what happened to Bob, right? Right. <laughs> I know, poor which Bob. Which iron ironically Bob. was Melinda Gates' project, which I don't know if oh, you knew that story. I did not she, know that. So, no. uh, yeah, Melinda <laughs> Gates' introduction to Bill was as a product manager for Bob, which if you don't know that story, check it out, it's old history. Oh, that's fantastic. But it's very good. All right, so before I let you go, one last thing. Yes. Uh, so you spoke, and, and they've got these great posters all around the room with little highlights from people's yes. conversations, and yeah. yours was, I just grabbed it off the wall, it's okay to be bad. Yes. I love it. For the people that <laughs> missed it, what's the message there? It's an important yeah. message, especially for women. Yeah, I think uh, as women, you know, we, we don't have a lot of role models. And when I get up as a role model, I'm one of a few CIOs who's female in Silicon Valley. Um, you know, we give these speeches and they, they sort of make us like Mother Teresa. You know, first you have your mission in mind and you lean in and you do all these awesome things. Well, the fact is, it is actually okay to be yourself. It's okay to be bitchy. It's okay to be cranky. It's okay for anger, anger to fuel you. It's okay to be aggressive, and even if your male counterparts tell you otherwise or say, wow, that's unseemly, 
I think it's just okay. We don't have to be um, pure and perfect in order to be successful. I can be those things at all at the same time. And I also say it's also okay to be good, to be merciful, to be um, soft-spoken, to be wordy, to be studious. That combination of things, we're allowed to be our genuine selves and we don't have to be perfect to be successful. And I, I feel like I embodied that yes, in, in particular. Yes, you What, what? I'm you not perfect? You certainly do. No, the, the success. I <laughs> oh, mean, awesome. the, the Nutanix story is a, is a phenomenal story. We it are fortunate is. we've been there since the beginning and, and really watching it grow. And, so and helping no. us to frame the story. And, so and thanks to theCUBE, well, I appreciate you're that. you're super successful and the company's yeah. successful. So the fact that you are Wendy, you know, you are who you are, you're a big personality and, and it comes through and it's great and it works and you're successful. So if they need someone to look up to, you're certainly a fantastic role model. Thank you so much. Well, I appreciate that. It's funny because I have never tried to be a role model and now just by accident, um, I, I've survived long enough. Yeah, but, uh, here, here I am. <laughs> Well, that's a whole different conversation. Right, right. When you just look around like, I'm the oldest guy in the room, but that's I a different know. thing. And All you're right. actually the only guy, just <laughs> saying. All right. Well, Wendy, right. thanks for, for taking a few minutes, All and right. I guess we'll see you next at Newtonics, next if uh, if not sooner. I look forward to it. Thanks. All right, thanks. thanks. She's Wendy. I'm Jeff. You're watching The Cube from Women, or Girls in Tech Catalyst 2018.